On the morning of scheduled to die, a large barefoot man with a bushy red beard waddled past my house. The 30 degree temperature didn't seem to bother him, but he must have had a lousy breakfast because he let out a burp as loud as a tuba. Belching barefoot giants who look like Vikings are not Norman Belleville, Indiana, but I didn't really get the chance to see the guy closely. At that moment, I, Jack McKinley, was under attack in my own bedroom by a flying reptile. Could have used an alarm clock, but I've been staying up late for my first period math test, and I'm a deep sleeper. Dad couldn't wake me because he was in Singapore on business, and Vanessa, the au pair I call my don't care giver, always slept till noon. I needed a big sound, something I possibly couldn't sleep through. That's when I saw my paper mache volcano from last month's science fair. Still on my desk, it was full of baking soda, so I got my dad's coffee maker, filled it with vinegar, and rigged it to the volcano with a plastic tube. I set the timer for 6.30 a.m. when the coffee maker would release the vinegar into the volcano, causing a goop explosion. I, p- I put the chute at the bot. I put a shoot at the base of the volcano to capture that goop, and in the shoot was a billiard ball, which would roll down toward a a spring-loaded catapult on my chair. The catapult would release a big old plastic euglisosaurus, a fanged eagle crossed with a lion, bright red. Bang. When that baby hit the wall, I'd have to be dead not to wake up. Foolproof, right? Not quite. Around 6.28, I was in the middle of the nightmare. I'd had this dream way too many times before. Me running through the jungle in a choka, chased by snarling, drooling pig-like beasts, whose screeches filled the smoky sky. Nice, huh? Usually I wake from this dream when a gap in the earth opens beneath my feet. But this time, I fell in, down into the darkness, to my death. At the moment of contact, the gaseous giant burped in real life. The sound woke me up. The coffee maker volcano alarm went off, and the Yugosaurus whacked me between the eyes. Which, in a nutshell, is how the, the worst morning of my life began. The last morning I would awaken in my own bed.